Hello everyone and welcome back to The Breakdown. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to download and install Security Craft in Minecraft 1.13.2. This is actually a very, very cool mod that allows you to basically secure things with lasers, retinal scanners, keypads, and breaking doors, and a lot more actually. It's a very, very extensive mod and a very cool mod to have updated to 1.13.2. First and foremost though, this video is brought to you by Apex Minecraft Hosting. Go to the first link down below, thebreakdown.xyz slash Apex, to get an awesome 20 for our DDoS protected Minecraft server for a few bucks a month. We love Apex so much that we use them on host our own server, play.breakdowncraft.com. So nevertheless, if you're looking for an incredible Minecraft server that is DDoS protected on the best hardware out there and up 24 seven, go check out Apex Minecraft hosting. Again, that is the first link down below, the breakdown.xyz slash Apex. Nevertheless, to get Security Craft installed, it's pretty easy. Go to the second link down below. That will take you here. This is the official Security Craft download page where you wanna click on this file button right here. When you click on that, it will take you over to the list of all of the downloadable versions of Security Craft ever. We want to find the one for 1.13.2 here. As we can see, 1.13.2 game version. We want to come over and click the gray download button on that 1.13.2 version. Now on Mozilla Firefox, it'll open up this in the center of the screen, but if you're on Google Chrome, it's opened up something in the bottom left. Either way, as long as it begins in 1.13.2 and then ends in .jar, as ours does, also has security craft in the middle, you are good to go ahead and click save file on Mozilla Firefox or keep in the bottom left on Google Chrome. So let's go ahead and save the file on Mozilla Firefox, keep it on Google Chrome, and there we go. Now we aren't done downloading just yet. We still need to download Forge. Forge is required for security craft. However, we have an in-depth tutorial on how to download and install Forge here. I'm also going to show you how to do it in this video. Nevertheless, if you go to the third link down below, it will take you here where you want to come down and click on this green download Forge button right there. See that green download Forge button? Click on that and that will take us over to here. This is Forge's official download page and their official website where we want to make sure 1.13.2 is selected. As we can see, MC 1.13.2 is what it says right here. So that is the correct version. If it doesn't say that, click on 1.13 over here on the left-hand side and then click on 1.13.2. Nevertheless, once you see MC 1.13.2 right there, we can go ahead and click Installer under Download Latest. Once we click that, it'll take us off to Add Focus where you don't want to click anything on this page. Stop it. Don't click anything on this page. All you want to do is wait five seconds and up here in the top right up, you'll see a red skip button. Once you see that red skip button, go ahead and click on it. Now there might be a pop-up. If there is a pop-up, which just happened, you see that white thing come up? If that's the case, hover over your browser up in the, it's in the top right for me, it's in the bottom left of your screen, your taskbar down there, and then you should have some sort of a pop-up for some reason. It's just Googled something, and that was the pop-up. Sometimes it says Windows security alert. Don't worry, there's no Windows security alert just close out of it. Just hit that red X right there and it'll get rid of that. Nevertheless, once you've finally been able to click that red skip button in the top right, click on it. Then you'll see Forge. As long as it starts with Forge and ends with .jar, the file is 100% safe. If you're on Google Chrome in the bottom left, as long as it starts with Forge and ends with .jar, the file is completely safe. So as long as it does that, starts with Forge and ends with .jar, we can go ahead and save the file on Mozilla Firefox and keep the file in the bottom left on Google Chrome. Now we go ahead and minimize our browser. On our desktop, we have Forge here. You should also have Security Craft, but what if you don't? As you can see here, we don't. We just have Forge. What, what, what do we do about that? Well, no worries. We're on the top left of my screen to the bottom left of your screen, that little Windows icon there. Click on that, type in downloads, right like so, and you will have a downloads folder here. Click on that, and in here, you'll probably have Security Craft and Forge. If Forge is on your desktop, it's probably in your downloads folder. I just did that because I thought it would be kind of cool to have something in my downloads folder there. But nevertheless, here is Security Craft and here is Forge. Now both happy on our desktop. We're going to start off with Forge, so go ahead and right click on it. Click on Open With right here, and then select Java TM Platform SE Binary and click OK. But what if you don't have Java TM Platform SE Binary? Or what if you click OK and it doesn't work? Well, no worries. All you need to do is come back to this video's description and then find this. This is the Java Development Kit, specifically the Java SE Development Kit, and it is needed not only to run Forge mods, but also Minecraft servers, Optifine, pretty much anything when it comes to doing anything other than playing Minecraft, you need the Java Development Kit, and you can find that link in the description down below. It's just called Download Java, and this walks you through how to get it, find the correct version, all of that stuff. Now, if you install Java and it still doesn't work, no worries. We have a solution. Go to the description down below and find the jar fix. 
fix. And this is a complete tutorial on how to run the jar fix, which repairs and fixes jar files on your computer. It's a very, very simple process, very, very easy to do. But uh, after you've done that, we can minimize our browser, finally come back over to Forge, right click on it, click on open with, select Java TM platform SE binary and click OK. That will then open up the Forge installer here, where you want to click on install client and click OK. Forge will now install and get set up in 1.13.2. And after it's done with that, we'll be able to uh, install security crap. Now, if you do have any issues with Forge installing, you just need to go run Minecraft 1.13.2 with nothing installed, just vanilla 1.13.2, and you'll be good to go. As you can see, successfully install Client Profile Forge, click OK. And now we need to install security craft. To do this, go to the Windows icon in the top left. For me, it's in the bottom left of your screen, that little Windows icon down there. Click on that and then type in Run, R U N. That will then, you'll see the Run Desktop app, where you want to click on that to open it up and then in the run desktop app here this little search bar you want to type percent app data percent percent app data percent exactly like so and click ok that'll open up our roaming folder where we then have a dot minecraft folder go ahead and open up that dot minecraft folder and then in here you'll have a mods folder but nick what if i don't have a mods folder well i don't either so all we got to do is right click and create a new folder and then title that folder mods mods all lowercase exactly like that and now you have a mods folder go ahead and open up that mods folder take security craft drag and drop it into the mods folder and now we need to go ahead and open up our minecraft launcher now once you're in the minecraft launcher don't go ahead and slam that play button wait hold your horses we need to make sure we're selecting the forge version of minecraft to do that, click on the little green arrow next to the play button. You should have a Forge profile here. If you do, go ahead and click that and you're good to play. But what if you don't? Well, no worries. Click on the three lines up here in the top right. Click on Launch Options. And then you want to click Add New. So click Add New. And now you can name this whatever you want. I'm going to name it Play.Breakdown craft.com. Why am I naming it that? Because that is the best Minecraft server in the multiverse. 1.13.2 degree protected survival, custom factions, custom skyblock. If you are looking for an incredible faction server, we have you covered. Come play with us. Play it on breakdowncraft.com. Their version here, we want to make sure we click on it and select Forge. As you can see, 1.13.2 Forge there. Go ahead and click on that. And then for resolution, I'm going to change that to 1920 by 1080, just because that's easier for me to be able to let you see in game. So let's go ahead and click save here and then come back over to news. This time we do want to click that little green arrow next to the play button, select the profile we created, in my case play.breakdowncraft.com, and then click play. Minecraft 1.13.2 will now open up with Security Craft installed. Once we're in game and on the Minecraft main menu, I will uh, show you that it's not only installed in the mods tab, but we'll hop in a game and uh, see what Security Craft really has to offer. So here we are on the Minecraft main menu. We can click on the Mods tab here and see there is Security Craft. But more important than that, we can actually go ahead and log into a new world. I'm just going to name this Security Craft. I'm going to make it creative with uh, cheats on. So I'm going to allow cheats here. And then I'm just going to create a new world. This is going to take a second. I'll see you once we're loaded in to this brand spanking new world. Here we are in our brand new world. Wow, shipwreck very, very close there. But I don't think there's any denying that's 113 with that ship. What is this seed? Can we do a seed? Yes, there's the seed of this world if you want to get to that shipwreck. But nevertheless, let's go ahead and do slash game mode creative just because it's easier for us to then hit E. And we can see all of the security craft stuff. I think it is all here. There is no denying that. Let's see if we could get some, I don't know, like an unbreakable block or something. Let's see, un, no, it's not gonna be, I don't know, let's see. I don't, I don't know security craft too well these days. It's been a while. There's a key panel. I don't think you can place that on anything, but yeah, no denying that security craft is in fact installed. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section down below. I'm more than happy to help you out. Give this video a thumbs up if you haven't already and subscribe to the channel for more awesome content exactly like this every single day of the week. My name is Nick. Again, this has been The Breakdown and I am out. Peace.